Hello, I'm Dr. Mike. Due to the life cycle of the flea, we may never see the adult stage on our pets. However, that does not stop them from causing problems such as severe allergic dermatitis or even transmitting tapeworms. Today, we will meet with Dr. Wayne Rosencrantz, who is board certified in animal dermatology. Well, fleas are insects that we all sort of deal with, and they're a parasite that can create a lot of different disease complications in, in domestic pets. The four stages of the flea life cycle include the, the egg, um, the larval stages, the pupal stage, which is sort of the juvenile stage, and then the adult stage. Most people focus on seeing the adult flea, and that's what they sort of judge whether or not their pet has an active flea infestation. But the largest part of the flea life cycle uh, is not readily visible to the naked eye. So about 50% of the life cycle is actually in the stage of an egg, which is very small, very difficult to see with the naked eye. And then the remaining stages uh, make up what we call a, a larval uh, form of the, of the stage. Um, and then that can progress on to what we call a pupil form, and then ultimately we end up with the adult. The adult actually only makes up about 5% of the total life cycle. And as far as where that life cycle takes place in, in the house or on the pet, most of the action occurs on the pet because the adult flea, as soon as it, it, it becomes an adult after this pupil stage, it has to find a host and feed rather quickly, usually within 24 hours or less. And so the majority of the life cycle is taking place on the pet, but eggs can drop off in the environment and then develop into these other stages. One of the concerns about flea infestation and where the fleas may come from reflects a little bit about the resiliency of some stages of the flea life cycle. In particular, the eggs are incredibly resilient and they can remain dormant or inactive in the environment for months or even longer uh, depending on some references that have been cited. Normally this sort of typical life cycle is going to occur somewhere three to four weeks, but could be much, much longer depending upon ambient temperature and humidity. Knowing whether your pet has fleas or not is sometimes a challenge. If you're going to find fleas, the best area to look is over that dorsal or the lower back of the tail head to actually look for them. In many situations, we don't find fleas. We may find evidence of fleas, which most commonly would present as what we call flea dirt or flea feces. So since fleas are feeding on blood, their feces is look, it basically looks like a dry, black, peppery material. And if you're unsure of it actually being flea dirt, you can take a little bit of that peppery material, moisten a paper towel, and drop some of the peppery material on a moist surface, and it'll actually bleach out and bleed to a reddish or blood color, so that can be helpful. In flea allergic animals, this is where it's more challenging and as veterinarians will tell owners that their pet may be suffering from flea allergy but they never see fleas. And this is a little bit more of a challenging scenario but in the flea allergic pet, it can be only the occasional flea bite that triggers the allergic reaction. So sometimes it's really a clinical impression based on presentation and lesions that are there. Yeah, the, the options for treatment for fleas, obviously initially the key point is to implement and maintain a good flea control program. Because when people become more complacent, they do flea control for short periods of time, then the flea loads tend to reoccur. Whether or not you see an adult flea on your pet, understand that this is only a small percent of the flea infestation your pet may be experiencing. Since the prevalence of fleas will vary between geographical regions, I recommend that you ask your veterinarian what is the best flea control plan for your pet. I'm Dr. Mike, and thanks for watching.